Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a laundry chat. Or laundry chat? How do y'all say that? I've seen it going around YouTube as like laundry chat, but I always want to call it a laundry chat. Mm, it's one of those videos. Because I has laundry and I want to chat. So I figured this would be the easiest way to do that. Um, normally I fold my laundry standing up at the dining room table, but this is what we're doing right now. I don't really know how people do this because it requires a lot of multitasking. Anyway, hi, how are you? Been a minute. Well, by the time you guys see this, it will not have actually been a minute. For reference, it is the 17th. I did have some stuff I'd like to talk about. Um, it will not be related to the update that I gave you guys on Monday. Um, even though they were filmed the exact same day. <laughs> so I just filmed that video. And because it is hot in this house, I went ahead and put on a different shirt. And I figured... We could do this little laundry chat together. I had a game plan of exactly what I wanted to talk about until I started filming. This is one of the reasons I don't fold laundry on the bed. It's warm and she wants to lay on it. John started his new job last week, was it? So that's great. Which means we have officially closed down our construction company. I don't even know if I told you all that he got a new job. He was working for a framing company. But honestly, that work is just very seasonal, as you can imagine. And we can't afford seasonal. And now I am looking for work because, like I said, we no longer have the construction company which is what your girl did here. I was the office manager and took care of all that. So now I got no job. So I gotta find one. And it's just a few days till Christmas. Stop. So finding a job around this time of the year can be rather tricky. Most of the people who are hiring for positions are on vacation. So I don't fully expect to hear anything until the new year if you want to know the truth. Um, my mom and grandmother are still here. And that's life right now. Their heat is still not working at their house. And I'm not going to just send my mom and my 82 year old Nana back to a house that doesn't have heat. It's like you have so much to discuss and then you turn on the camera and I don't really know how to do these two things at once. So there's that. We rearranged our bedroom, which I don't know when the last time it was that I even showed y'all this bedroom. So it could look exactly the same. To you all because you don't remember what it looked like but the bed was on that wall the dresser was in the living room we've had this bed all over the place okay. Come on. we did completely take down the frame it was just far too bulky for this little room and we wanted to be able to go upstairs in our home so my husband brought the dresser back in here you little snake. No ma'am. Back over here. She's trying her best to get all up on my clothes. Watch her. She's just rooting around in my pants now. Little turd. Stop. <sighs> I love her though. One thing I have been doing is reading the book of Luke and I actually got that idea from Instagram, I think. That's where I first saw it. 
and then I posted about it on Instagram saying that I was going to be doing it. Basically you read one chapter of Luke for the day that you're on. So day one you read chapter one, day two you read chapter two. So that's what I've been doing and they say when you get to day 24 you will have read the true meaning of Christmas and you'll know kind of the entire story of Jesus and all that stuff. So that's what I have been doing. And that little book back there, I don't know if y'all can see it, is what I take my notes in. And today is the 17th, so I'm in chapter 17. If any of you all are also doing that, because that is not original to me, I did see that on Instagram. If any of you all are doing that, I would absolutely love to know. Just leave that in the comments below if you are doing that this year, or maybe that's something you would like to do. I will be 100% honest. Um, because of the things that have been going on in our family. I didn't start till the 14th <laughs> and I just got caught up so I kind of pushed all my chapters into one day got all caught up <laughs> and now here we are. So if you all are doing that let me know. Another thing our heat went out a couple weeks ago and it was out for almost a week. So that was great. Um, thankfully, like the day it went out, there was somebody here. They tried everything in the world to figure out, you know, how to fix it. They did get our emergency heat running so that we weren't completely without anything, but my mother-in-law let us borrow a space heater and we had purchased one heater from Ollie's and funny enough it was a three or five dollar heater that was guaranteed not to work and we got it home plugged it in works just fine I'm assuming it was guaranteed not to work because the top of one of the plastic pieces had broken off but I just super glued it back together so I don't know why it was guaranteed not to work we've literally had no issues out of it and it's like got a mini fireplace in it I'll have to show you all that. But the heat went out. Then the bottom of our kitchen sink, the piping that goes into the wall, it goes from PVC pipe to copper pipe. And the copper pipe had completely rusted off to the wall. So we have actually had this fixed once before. Well, the boot came off when my mom was doing dishes. Completely flooded our kitchen floor. So we had to have them come back out and fix underneath the sink. <laughs> we get all of that fixed. They come back to change out our heat pump or a part for our heat pump or something like that. Because apparently that was what was wrong with the heat. They bring that part over and the heat gets fixed and our basement flooded. I was like, what is going on? Apparently, one of the drains isn't working, so we have to have a plumber come out and snake one of those drains. Because every single time I do laundry, the water backs up through that drain and floods my basement. So what I've been having to do is do very small loads. That was three loads that you just saw me fold. This is three small loads, so I'll do a small load, put, put it on small, and that's the only way that it will barely flood the floor and then drain in time for me to do another load. I'm just thankful that we own a washer and dryer. It's in my house. I don't have to go somewhere to wash my clothes. I don't have to wash my clothes in a creek. I have clothing to wash and even be concerned about. It's just moments like these when Murphy shows up to your house. And it's Murphy's law. If it can't happen, it will happen. It's just moments like those where you're like, okay, the heat goes out, the sink breaks, the pipes in the basement get stopped. And all of this just seems to be hitting the fan. When you really just step back and you're like, it could be so much worse. Um, that's kind of also like saying it could be better. I understand that. I, I'm not the biggest fan of saying, well, you can't be sad because someone's sadder. But 
I am extremely blessed. John and I are very blessed. I have my mom, I have my Nana here. Their heat went out and they had somewhere to go. Like we are extremely beyond blessed and I am so grateful for that. I'm also thankful that we rent from an amazing man. Um, he is the pastor of our church. Um, but the second the heat went out in this house, it went out at 5 a.m. And John sent a text message. And that day, and that same day, there was someone here trying to figure it out. And someone was here every single day until it got fixed. And I am so, so grateful. This man even showed up to our house. This is a guy that um, does the maintenance for the houses. He showed up in between church services on Sunday, full suit, to come fix some stuff. They bought a new thermostat because at first they thought it was that. Then they were down there fiddling with the furnace, trying to fix some stuff. They bought fuses to see what was going on. And then they finally realized, okay, it's gotta be the heat pump. And then they bought the new part for that. This all happened within a week. When our toilet wasn't working, because um, it hadn't been bolted to the floor. There was someone here the day we realized that the toilet water was actually flowing into our basement. Uh, I'm done with my laundry. But anyway, guys, that is the end of this laundro chat. If you stuck around to the end, you're a champ because I can't see that all the way up there, but I got a feeling I've been talking for a minute. And that's another thing. I was sitting in the back of the church yesterday morning and I couldn't see the pastor on the stage because of how blurry he was. So you girl needs to go get her eyes checked. I've been putting it off for a while, but I can't even see the time. And um, I'm probably like two feet away from the camera. So probably need to go get that checked out. Look at me over here procrastinating. That's what I'm good at. Anyway, guys, I hope you all are having a beautifully blessed evening, morning, noon, night, no matter what time it is, wherever you are when you're watching this, I hope it's blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.